I have to admit, reviewers and tech analysts like me throw around the term paper launch a lot. But if I'm being honest, I don't think we usually mean that literally. No, what we usually mean is a de facto meaning where we are doing a derogatory slam to accuse a company like Intel with a B580, for example, of not providing enough graphics cards for launch for it to really count as a real launch. But again, we don't literally mean it's a paper launch, usually. However, today with the RTX 5060 Ti, we might be closer to literally than ever before having a paper launch on our hands, whether NVIDIA wants to admit it or not. I mean, seriously, I could not find this graphics card in stock almost anywhere in the United States for even a second on its launch day, not even at a single micro center while I was looking around in the morning. Even in the United Kingdom, which recently has seen more cards than the US hit MSRP, more on that later in the video, by the way. It seemingly only had dozens, not even hundreds of these cards arriving at Overclockers UK's storefront. And look, no, there shouldn't be any surprise here for viewers of Moore's Law is Dead. In the last live stream a week ago, this channel correctly leaked that the MSRP was basically fake and that the de facto price would be substantially higher on the street and that in fact supply would be so bad that some reviewers wouldn't get any cards and some didn't but i have to say that i wasn't prepared for the launch to be as paper as the quotes i'm about to put on screen let me put up these testimonials from some of my best sources in retail. So source number one here, who works for a major online retailer, said that they did not get a single RTX 5060 Ti yet, and we've been told, this is what the person said, that they likely won't have any for a week. Oh, and the initial shipments will include little to no 8 gigabyte supply, and this is as of the morning of today when I'm putting out this video, the 16th of April. And I actually want to drill in on that first source here because... Again, I'm not going to say which major online retailer this person works at, but what I will say is I did see this company list at least one 5060 Ti 16 gigabyte on their storefront, and I am told, and this is by one of my best sources in retail that is really one of my main go-tos at this point for reporting on launches, that there wasn't anything in their warehouses. So I don't know if they listed something as sold out that was never actually in stock or what. But this person was shocked to tell me today that at least as of the morning, they didn't get any and that they probably won't have any for a week. Now, moving on to a second source here, this person says that there's been zero 5060 TIs delivered to their location in the same major US retailer with many brick and mortar stores. And as far as this person can tell, reaching out to colleagues at other locations that were for the same company, most locations received zero RTX 5060 TIs as well. In fact, they don't expect to receive any at their location for a week, similar to what the other source said as well and again so again i'm not going to say which retailer this is but i am seeing stores online say things are sold out and i have multiple people telling me they didn't receive any 05060 ti's at their locations or at their warehouses so far and so again some weird stuff's going on here at this launch. Moving on to the third source here, this person who's a smaller US retailer tells me that their AIB contacts haven't even offered them supply yet. And then the fourth source here, this person says that AMD just pulled the RX 9060 XT marketing materials from their shared ad folder. And then when people at this retailer reached out to AMD for confirmation, they indeed were told that more updates would be provided about the 9060 XT soon, meaning that yes, Indeed, it has been somewhat delayed, if you will. And I want to talk about what this means for the graphics card market and round out my opinions on NVIDIA's RTX 5060 Ti, including some startling things I'm noticing about how things are changing between supply that is going to different continents. But first, an ad from a sponsor. Are you too depressed to go outside because of how expensive Microsoft software is? Well, there's absolutely no need for that. Just go to cdkeyoffer.com. That's right. This piece of content is once again sponsored by cdkeyoffer.com. And I say once again because they've been a fantastic sponsor of Moore's Law's Dead and its community for many years. And that's because they always deliver the best pricing reliably for Microsoft products like 
Windows operating systems, Office software, and they also sell games and other things as well. So make sure you check them out, especially during their Easter sale going on right now. And if you do, use offer code BROKENSILICON to save 25% on all Microsoft software and then die shrink to save 3% off on everything else on the website. The community uses them. I use them for my new Zen 4 X3D desktop. And Jesse here needs to stop moping around and I think use them as well. So that's once again, support Moore's Law is Dead by going to cdkeyoffer.com through the links below today. It's okay, Jesse. It's okay. All right, welcome back. So what do I think about these launch testimonials that I just leaked to you all? Well, like I said at the top of the video, I think this, this being the 5060 Ti launch, is as close to a paper launch as you can get without it technically being one, especially in the United States. Like, I suspect there were hundreds at most at Newegg in the United States. I actually don't know direct numbers, so don't quote that, but it seems like there was some sold on Newegg. And then outside of that, almost no other retailer got one. Like, genuinely, I don't care what they're showing online for some of these. I've spoken to multiple of my best retail sources that say NVIDIA provided absolutely no supply to multiple major retailers in the United States. And then, all right, moving on, as for the 9060 XT being delayed, which I confirmed some of the rumors that are circulating out there in those testimonials, I don't have that much to add to that. You know, I put out that leak, like I've already said, in a live stream a week ago, where I said that it sounded like they were trying to launch April 24th. Again, as you can guess, this comes from communications between AMD and some of my retail contacts that had some marketing materials confirming things, but now those are gone. So I don't know really what is causing that now. Technically, in that leak, actually, I only said that they were sure there was going to be a launch in quarter two, so I guess that's still remaining. Correct. Um, but here's the thing. At first, my reaction was, well, this probably isn't due to tariffs, though, right? Because I, I was told by sources that the 9060 XT should have better supply than even the 9070 XT launch. And, you know, if they believe that, then that probably means that a lot of the supply is already in the United States. And I don't know, maybe some of it is. But upon further reflection, I realized, well, no one really told me how much 9060 XT supply had arrived in the United States yet. And when I pushed a few sources today, multiple of them said the T word, tariffs, that that is why they believe uh, these delays are happening. And if that's true, I just got to say that's really sad. I mean, I expected, as I again, as I leaked, that the 9060 XT is going to be a very cost-competitive product that should bring solid competition to the low-end and mid-range graphics markets, but I don't know, maybe just not in the United States. And actually, no joke, when I look at reporting from across the pond, it is starting to look like Europe, although still getting hit with horrible supply by modern standards, they're still getting kind of the typical NVIDIA supply for this generation, whereas in the United States for the 5060 Ti launch, it seems like the US, for the first time I've ever seen, is getting worse day one supply than what I'm seeing in like the United Kingdom or Germany. And so I really, really actually recommend people listen to the last podcast that came out on this channel where a business attorney with experience in international trade, specifically with disputes between the US and Canada, came on and we broke down why in the short term there may be this deprioritization of shipping products to the US in favor of other regions. Because this thing that we were warning about, it looks like this might already be happening to a degree with the 5060 Ti launch. And by the way, that is a pity because yes, look, when the 5060 Ti is wildly above MSRP, I think that it is an absolute junk offering. Uh, and I think that the 8 gigabyte version of the 5060 Ti should be entirely ignored. But Honestly, if the 16 gigabyte model was to fall to around $400, like I think it might in the United Kingdom soon, $400 for 7700 XT or actually usually better than that performance, except with 16 gigabytes of RAM and excellent efficiency, that's not a horrible offering. I mean, that's lower a lower that's lower than what you would have paid for a 7700 XT years ago with more performance, lower power consumption and more RAM. If it were to get close to $400, like it seems like it might in parts of Europe eventually, I could see myself recommending it. Uh, but 
you know, so far that's not the case. And so I do think it is a horrible purchase as of now. I do not appreciate NVIDIA's apparent shenanigans trying to hide that there's an eight gigabyte version who knows maybe nvidia's you know found religion and the reason they're not shipping eight gigabyte cards in any real numbers right now is because they know that the 16 gigabyte model is the only useful one but i think we all suspect eventually they'll start shipping the eight gigabyte cards once the dust is settled and hope that people will think when they look at a hardware unboxed review of a 16 gigabyte card that's what they will get with eight gigabytes even though they won't but time will have to tell on that one Otherwise, the performance is pretty much what I expected. A worse 7800 XT, only good if it's priced much below the 7800 XT was, and a price at the same or higher, then it's a worse deal than you could have gotten, what, three years ago or something. Uh, yeah, and so I think that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like the video, share it, comment down below, and make sure that you're subscribed to the Moore's Law is Dead YouTube channel. Almost half of you aren't, according to the statistics I'm seeing on YouTube Analytics. It really does help when you subscribe. You know what? It helps even more if you join the Moore's Law is Dead Patreon as well. We'll have a new die shrink coming out this week it's an exclusive video just for fans we have multiple come out every month sometimes they're interviews sometimes they're deep dives into subjects that we know hardcore fans want but probably wouldn't perform well on youtube just two dollars a month gets you access to that huge catalog of hundreds of die shrinks and the ability to ask us questions access to a discord and so much more so please support us there if you have any extra money every month and then for everybody else well if you made it this far into the video at a minimum thank you for watching